and see. Hi all and welcome back to my channel. I hope you're all fine. Today I just want to talk with you about some great PCI Express 3.0 SATA cards. This ones here are really great and working really fast. So uh, this one here on the left side I have bought it I think three weeks ago and uh, two weeks ago I think I have made a video about that one already. Uh, but uh, over this card here I just need to talk some stuff uh, with you guys because the cards are really working very great. The problem is only that when you buy these cards from China they gonna not give you the drivers okay and this is the stuff which I just want to talk with you about. It's very difficult to get the drivers so these people they are just selling these cards yes it's okay but it's very hard to get the drivers and I was really searching about <laughs> I think one week long to find the right drivers. Okay let's say like that you can just take the card you can connect it to your let's say to your system if you got Windows 10 running then of course Windows 10 gonna just recognize let's say a driver but it gonna not find the perfect one and that's the problem that I got on this card here when I just restart my computer sometimes it's just not detecting my hard disk drives okay so the other thing is now the card here on the right side here is with a Marvel chip set that means that you can also make some RAID systems so if you just love RAID 0 then you are good to go with this card here because it has a Marvel chipset okay the other thing is only that this one here on a single hard drive it's reading a little bit slower let's say I think the maximum here was about 380 megabytes per second on PCI Express 3.0 just that you can compare it with this card here um, if you are using that card on PCI Express 2.0 then you're gonna have about read speeds I think it was about 400 megabytes per second and if you are using this card here on PCI Express 3.0 then you're gonna yeah let's say have even way faster read speeds about 800 megabytes per second and that's why I love this card here okay so this card is very fast if you are just using it uh, with some uh, yeah single devices or hard disks but if you want to use RAID then you need to go for this one here. Uh, these cards are really great and the price is good because this one here is about 50 bucks here on the left side it's about 30 bucks maybe uh, 40 bucks but they are still uh, very cheap and working really great I just want uh, to compare that uh, let's say I just want um, to show you this one here so now you can really see that the professional SATA cards here or let's say the RAID SATA controllers they are here costing about let's say 200 till 400 bucks okay I'm not kidding this ones here are really expensive but they are more let's say uh, for some great uh, servers yeah not not only servers you can also use it for yourself it confirms how much you're gonna spend <laughs> but this ones here are of course uh, way more expensive so now I'm gonna just get this away I just wanted to talk about that you can see uh, what this card really costs okay so a professional rate zero PCI Express SATA card they are costing here about 200 till 400 bucks or sometimes a little bit more so now I'm gonna just talk about this cards here the thing was I have bought it yes but they don't want to give me the drivers I bet that they just don't have it they have no drivers for this card I am not just talking about two guys on eBay uh, they come boot from China the one is always just telling me yeah I have sent you the instructions on your email I don't need instructions I need the drivers okay <laughs> again and again I was telling this guy I need just the drivers please just give me the drivers no they are just always responding the same shit always the same stuff here I have to send you the instructions I don't need any instructions and I don't need some manuals I just need the drivers is it so complicated to understand or what the hell is going on here <laughs> okay so for this card here I have done just uh, let's say a small folder for you guys I got all the drivers for some kind of Marvel uh, PCI Express SATA cards I'm going to show you this uh, yeah in a few seconds now I'm going to just click this away I just wanted to talk about this one here because yeah I know this here they are not so fast like on the left one but they are good because you can use it with single hard drives or you can use it also for RAID systems okay so that's why now I'm going to just click it away now uh, we have just this one here 
and um, I have bought it from China and uh, I have bought them two times now yeah because I have bought them from one seller and from a completely different seller which is also sitting in China and I'm talking and I'm writing with both of these guys please send me the drivers no they cannot send me the drivers and they are just always responding and, and reply always the same shit uh, I begin to think that um, I, I'm pretty sure that they don't have the drivers for this car because myself <clears throat> I was here searching one week day and night till I got the right drivers okay I have really found a lot of drivers so this is no problem it's no problem for me to search the drivers on, on, on Google uh, you're gonna find thousands of drivers the question is only if you're gonna find the right drivers and I finally found the right drivers for this chipset here oh my god I'm so happy I got the drivers now and I don't know what I'm gonna do with the drivers because normally I just should keep that for me but I'm gonna send this video to these guys here guys that's how we do it okay here are the drivers and that's how it should work so now I'm gonna just click this side away I'm gonna just show you some stuff on the device manager here that you also can see uh, that the drivers are really installed. Wait, 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 uh, blah, blah, blah. So here it is. You can see now it says IS Media 116X SATA controller. Okay, so here now you know that these drivers are installed. When you just connect the SATA card to your computer, Windows 10 gonna just write something like SATA card blah 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 and that's all okay it will not be written just like here AS Media 116X SATA controller this is the right name for the right card right now okay and that's why it should look like this if you connect your SATA card to the computer and it's just something written like um, blah 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 SATA card no it's not the right driver you can also here uh, click two times on it and you just go to drivers and then you can also see here sometimes the date and it was written something uh, about 2006 so there you know the drivers are very old okay so here you can see that I really have the right drivers I have tested for myself and always when I start my computer my hard disks my SSDs and all the stuff are really getting connected and uh, yeah I'm just in love right now because I really finally found the right drivers okay uh, before um, I had always some problems I have just start my computer and sometimes the card has not recognized my hard disk okay so I had just some problems some buggy stuff and something it was working and but sometimes not or let's say mostly not I had always to do a restart and sometimes I had here just uh, to delete the standard driver from Windows 10 then I had need to restart my computer again and just then it was working but always with a very old drive okay it was something about can't remember I think it was 2006 and there you know the driver are very old okay um, now I have done you some great stuff like here I got you now here I got two folders one is for the marble cards if you are just thinking about to get a PCI Express RAID SATA card then I got here uh, some great drivers for some uh, Marvel chipsets you can see it here okay um, you just uh, go there and then you can just install it here select one setup here let's say you can just run the setup um, if you're not sure which one you have if you are really not sure then you go again to a device manager uh, then you search let's say your SATA card you can just like me just get it here go to drivers and then you just um, click here um, update drivers and then you can tell him where to search and of course then you just select uh, let's say the right folder just like me let's say uh, yeah you can we can go on the desktop uh, yeah okay but I have not here the drivers because this is a Vindra this is a zip file uh, doesn't matter we can go here to my computer again and then uh, I got here all the drivers let's see here I got um, my PCI Express SATA card drivers you see and then just click on it and you can just um, yeah let's say update the drivers automatically uh, like on this way here okay so but otherwise you just run the setup and then you are good to go blah 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 yeah okay so the other thing like I told I got here also the drivers for this card here which has one of the newest 
ASM chipset, um, with, which is the uh, 1166. Um, and there I need to tell you one thing. The first thing you should do if you got this card here, just like I have, because this one here is really fast. The first thing you should do is to run, um, let's say, a firmware update on the card itself. I'm not talking about the software, okay? I'm talking here about uh, flashing the right firmware, or let's say a newer firmware, to your SATA card, okay? So here, um, this is normally just uh, for another card, but I have found it on, uh, I think, on the site from, from Thermaltake, <laughs> because they have um, a great card too, but with the same um, chipset like this SATA card here had, okay? And that's why I have found, finally, uh, a great firmware update for the card itself, and later I got here also the uh, right drivers for you guys. So here, uh, let's just get uh, inside this um, uh, manual here. Um, important is for that, that you please do not um, flash this firmware update if you are working on an Intel motherboard with, let's say, chipset 600 series, okay? It, it's just written here, so um, please take care. Please make sure you are using non-Intel 600 series chipset motherboard to update the firmware, okay? Please keep that in mind. If you have uh, this Intel motherboard or whatever, then please just get the SATA card in another computer and then run this firmware update. It should work without problem. So normally uh, it's written here something like 2005, blah, 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 blah. This is the old firmware. Uh, you just, uh, yeah, let it run. Um, if it will see that it's the right chipset and the right card, uh, you're going to have no problems. Just run it, press OK, and then it's going to just um, flash a newer firmware to the PCI Express SATA card, OK? Uh, I'm going to just uh, do that for you quickly, just that you can see that my SATA card is already with the newest firmware update. I just wanted now to tell you it looks normally just like here. 2005 blah 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 okay now i'm gonna just get this away let's say i'm gonna run now this um tool here and also if you have a uh, core temp running on the background here this one here uh, you please just uh, close it because sometimes um, it's a bit buggy if you just run it i had problems sometimes uh, with core temp um, you just can you see it says here it will shut down in about uh, 60 seconds because uh, it shows me a message like um, one core was running on about 200 degrees. <laughs> okay, it can never be possible that my, uh, let's say, AMD here runs over 200 degrees here because first I am on water cooling. The second thing here, you can see the temperatures are here on 35 degrees right now. But I have just found out this for myself. If you are just running this update, tool here, let's say the firmware update tool for the PCI Express SATA card, sometimes uh, you get some buggy um, messages with core temp, okay? But not all people are using core temp just like me. You can just, uh, yeah, exit and then uh, you just close core temp. So now it has already rebonized. I got here the firmware version uh, 211108, okay? Now you can see that my PCI Express SATA card is already updated with this um, yeah, let's say update tool here. Okay, just that you know, I'm not talking any trash or bullshit. You can here really do all what I'm explaining. Uh, if it will not work, then it will not work because it's not the right chipset or the uh, update tool here has just recognized that this is not the right chipset and then please do not try it. Okay, just let it be. If it says, okay, you are good to go, then you just press okay, start and whatever, and then it will run the firmware update to your PCI Express SATA card. And of course, after that, when the firmware update is useful and it's finished, you just please do a restart, okay? Just then, go ahead and install the AS Media um, yeah, drivers, which is uh, the 3.3.50. This here are, let's say, finally, the right drivers for this great PCI Express SATA card. And here, <clears throat> you can also take a look here inside the readme file, or readme file. It says uh, it's for the most 1x, 6x, uh, includes the 1061 and 1062 and 2116 uh, AS um, media chipset. Okay, just that you understand. So it was working for my 
um, chipset and that's why I'm talking about that and I really can recommend this driver because it's finally working, I have no problems and it's always reorganizing my um, yeah, hard disks. Okay, so now, um, yeah, again, I have nothing more to say for now. I'm gonna send this video to these people from China to tell them guys, hey, take a look, you cannot sell any hardware without giving the people the drivers, okay, because this is just a pain in the ass. I cannot sell you a car uh, which you have no gasoline for, or let's say, <laughs> you know, so this is just stupid. You cannot just sell any hardware to the people without uh, some drivers because yes let's say Windows 10 is not stupid but Windows 10 has never always let's say the right and the perfect drivers okay the Windows 10 has a lot of drivers okay so this is no problem it's going to recognize it but even Windows 10 updates has not found this PCI Express SATA card because it has a uh, completely other chipset maybe in future yeah maybe in future uh, Windows 10 gonna be able uh, to find this card or let's say to update uh, this card but um, again just not to forget here are two folders one is just for the Marvel chipset card okay here are all the drivers for let's say ones of the most Marvel chipsets and here is just the uh, drivers for the ASM uh, media or for the AS media uh, chipset 1166 some maybe some more but here First run, please, the firmware update before you install the drivers because this is the right way to go. Okay, so I hope um, you have understand all. I hope you are really happy. I'm gonna just upload these drivers and then I'm gonna post your link. And, and, and I'm still not sure if I should upload these drivers because normally this is the work from these guys that sells this hardware, okay? So I'm doing now damn job. You know, so and they are not paying me some stuff because I just also want to help you people because you're gonna be just frustrated like I am. You buy, let's say, a graphics card which is very expensive, okay? But then you have no drivers. <laughs> you can kick that shit away <laughs> because you're gonna not be able to use your graphics card really like you should use. And before I forget, with the Windows 10 drivers, I was here about. I have here a SSD which is the Samsung. 840 Pro, it's a little bit older one, but this here can read about, uh, I think, uh, 500 or, or 480 megabytes per second, uh, I can't remember how exactly, but um, with the Windows 10 drivers, it was reading uh, 40 megabytes slower, um, and then I have just installed the right drivers, and it was reading, I had even more, let's say, performance with the drivers, with this PCI Express SATA card, okay, it's, that's why it's always important to have the right drivers because a hardware without drivers is just not working like it should work, okay, I just wanted also to tell you that, I have tested this always for myself and now I'm good to go and just now I'm uploading this video because I have tested already day and night for myself, it's working finally like it should work, but this here, the job that I have done now all the week uh, uh, ago uh, this is normally not my job okay this is the job from these guys in china they have just made this hardware and these people should give you the drivers okay i have nothing more to say i hope you're all happy with that i'm gonna not just upload you these drivers finally <laughs> but like i told this is normally not my job but i just want to help you also okay guys so i wish you all the best have a nice time and a see in the place to be. Peace. And see in the place to be. And see.